Hello and welcome to my channel, This Thing Do Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, so today I am here to show you how I make uh, my thumbnails and this is just going to be a really basic tutorial um, using Canva and um, you can really take your time and get as much detailed and creative with it as you would like but i'm just going to show you some um, simple steps to get you started so the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to the canva website and sign up for a free account so they say that you can try the canva pro, pro free for 30 days um, but i just signed up for the free account okay because after that they may want you to um, list your payment information and then they may begin to charge you after the 30 days. So I would just recommend getting the um, free account and uh, try it out like that and see if you like it. If it's something that you think would be uh, useful to, for you to pay for it, then um, that's totally up to you. But I just use the free account. Okay, so I have already signed up for mine. So I just want to show you what that looks like. So all you need to do is just go through the steps um, to create your account. And once you have that done, um, I'm going to go over to mine. Okay, everyone. So now that I am on my page, um, this is uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to click on create a design. And before I do that, I just wanted to show you that these are some of the designs that I have um, made already. So if you uh, wanted to use those um, for another video, you could always do that. For example, I did use my Work Your Whips Monday a couple times. So um, I just pulled it up from there and then remade it for the second one. So that is another thing that can help it go a little bit faster and an option for you. All right, so now I'm just going to click on create a design and I'm going to type in uh, YouTube and it'll usually pop up uh, YouTube thumbnail. And as you can see over here, it has 1280 by 720. And those are the dimensions for the YouTube thumbnail. So make sure you click on that so you can get um, the picture to fit in the thumbnail the way that it should. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that. And now it's going to bring me over to the templates is what pops up first. So if you wanted to um, use a template, you could certainly do that. I usually just um, click on backgrounds to start for me. And then I just pick... Um, just a simple color background and then I usually go over here to this um, icon over here which is transparency and then I usually just lighten it up a bit um, just so that they can be able to see my picture and um, my text on there so that is totally up to you it could be helpful in other situations um, you're really gonna have to just play around with it and get into their um, get into their website and all their Things that they offer so that you can see what works best for you but um, I'm just going through my process to give you some ideas so once I do that the next thing I'm gonna do is go to uploads and um, these are some of the pictures I have uploaded already but actually I have some new ones that I want to upload for this particular thumbnail so I'm just gonna go into my files and grab my um, snips that I have taken or screenshots and I have a couple that I wanted to put on so let me see if I can find the other one and this could be a screenshot from your video that you have recorded already or it could be um, a free picture that you found somewhere as long as it's uh, free and it's not copyrighted um, you can take a snip of it and use it um, or it could just be a picture that you have taken from your phone or camera that you would want to upload. So let me see. Okay, I found it. <laughs> okay, so for this thumbnail, I'm actually doing a happy mail that I gotten. And um, I like this picture because it really kind of captures the excitement and surprise of the happy mail. And I'm just going to add uh, maybe the package over there. And now maybe I can bring this. No, I don't want to bring it down. 
um, if you shape you can break make it bigger or make it smaller like that but if you just go like that it's just gonna cut your picture off almost like a crop function so let's see yeah the only way to make it bigger or smaller is to go like that and keep the same integrity of the picture so I'm just gonna uh, leave it like that that's okay let me see if I can you can also twist um, twist them around put it on the slant um, with that but I think I'll just keep it just like that and I'm gonna go grab some text so these are the different fonts that they have over here and um, you can choose any font that you like um, as long as it's free if it has a little crown next to I think most of the fonts are free but I'll get into that when we look at the elements um, but yeah as long as it says free and you have signed up for the free account you can use any one don't worry about what it says because you can always um, change that and I'll show you how to do that right now so I, this is just like a lower part if you wanted to have um, some bigger words and some smaller words uh, but I don't really need that there so I'm just gonna erase all of that and it won't there won't be anything there so I'm just gonna be working with the top text here and I'm just gonna go up to the text size and just type in something that I think might be a little bit more suitable okay so that is pretty small so I probably type in my message and then make it bigger accordingly and I'm just stretching it out to the length of the actual thumbnail and um, now I'm just gonna go in here and type in my text oops okay so I'm just typing in super happy mail I'm doing it one-handed guys so give me a chance <laughs> super happy mail from D O Y Oops Nations Uh and maybe I'll put an exclamation point and I don't know, do I wanna put um hmm let me see maybe I can go okay so now I'm gonna go to elements so this is where they have some lots um, where they have lots of fun different things that you can put in they have lines and shapes they have graphics photos videos audio um, charts frames and grids so you really have to play around with that to see the different things that they offer I usually just go in for the graphics um, so they have all these different things that you can choose from you can also go up here to the search bar to find exactly what you're looking for so I'm thinking I want to do an arrow maybe to point to the package so I've already searched for arrows before and so these okay so this is what I was talking about so if you come in here and you see this little crown where it says pro if you have signed up for the free program you will not be able to use these because that is the pay for but um, see the one next to it has free free so you can use any of those that have free um, also if they're moving like this um, my computer will not allow me to download it just based on the specs of my computer so if you have trouble downloading these kinds of um, moving graphics it could be because um, of your computer but um, I'm not sure the specifics on that I just know that it didn't work for mine <laughs> so um, yes uh, but you have lots of different choices for free like this is really um, pretty and it's free but it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to use that um, so let's see um, yep so they have lots of different options I think I'm just gonna pick something uh, pretty simple let's see I think I could oh and this one already came on here whoops okay so and also you see how this arrow is on top of the pink this is like I believe they call it layering so um, the last item that you put on will go on top of everything else that's on there if that makes sense so if you want whatever you want to be on top you need to add it last and um, 
that way it will layer on top of everything else if that makes sense so i actually didn't want this pink thing i don't remember putting that on there so i'm just gonna um uh, i'm just gonna right click on that on my mouse and then hit the delete and it should go right off of there they also have an undo button and it'll change it'll take off the last change that you made so let me see i think this is pretty cute with the hand drawn arrow and let me see if i can I wonder if I can change the color. Um, let me see what is this crop. Okay, well these will change the effects of it. So. Okay, so I can change the color of it. Let me see. Hmm. I think I'm going to take that off and just pick a different arrow, actually. So let me just... Oh, no. Whoops, yeah. I, <laughs> I can just hit undo, and then it'll come back. So... Let's take that off and just pick a different arrow. Um, this one is, could be fun, so let's pick that one. There. Um. Let me see if I can get it to underline super. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, and then I just want to back it up a little bit. And um, let's see. You can also add some confetti. And let's see, maybe I'll just add mm, doesn't show up very good. Okay, maybe I'll put the confetti on me and just bring it down a little bit. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All you need to do to make a simple uh, YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Not, again, there's lots of different options and choices that you can make and design. You can get really creative. Uh, the sky's the limit. And even with the free options, you have so much to choose from. So, and then you can upload any photos that you want. So you have a lot of options there as well so now that i'm happy with everything that i have put placed on here all i need to do is go ahead and hit the download button so i'm just gonna hit download and then click download again and this will actually show up in your download file so i'm just gonna clear that out and now that i have it downloaded i can just go right over to the video that i have uploaded and as you can see here, it has three options that YouTube has chosen for me for a thumbnail. So I can choose any of these. Or if you want to follow the steps to make your own thumbnail, as I just showed you, this is what you're going to click on here. So you're going to click upload a thumbnail. And then that is what you have put together already. So it's going to bring up your files. Um, and then you just go to your downloads and then it should be the last thing that was downloaded so i'm just going to open up that file and then it shows up right here okay so this will be the thumbnail that is shown up on my video once i upload my video all right so that's pretty much all you have to do to make your simple thumbnail using canva and then upload it to um your or have it ready to go for your video um that you were uploading 
if that makes sense. So uh, I hope that was helpful to you all. Please leave me a comment down below if this was helpful. If you um, have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. And also, please remember to give this th a video a thumbs up. And I will link down below a playlist of other video tutorials that I have um, that you might be interested in as well that have to do with um, starting out on YouTube or using some simple uh, Filmora software. Okay, so thank you again so much for checking this out. And please remember to uh, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again for watching.